The first step is clearing the ground and grading it to the proposed topography. Templates are then set with careful attention paid to their alignment and elevation. The templates are custom made for the posts that will be installed. Once the templates are in place, they are survey verified. Prior to grouting operations, the grout pump is calibrated using a 55 gallon drum to calculate the quantity of grout pumped with each stroke. The stroke can be detected by placing a foot on the grout hose. After the calibration, a calculation is made to determine how many pump strokes are needed to fill the auger cast pile volume in total and each segment, typically to a depth of 5 feet. The calculation further determines the number of strokes needed to achieve a minimum 5 foot head above the bottom auger flight. This minimum must be maintained at all times as the auger is slowly raised out of the hole. The auger rig is moved into position at the exact surveyed alignment and a 30 inch diameter hole is installed with intolerances to a depth of 22 feet. The auger rig leads are marked with paint, usually in 5 foot segments, to allow for easy recognition of auger depth. During the process, the soil type is inspected for similarity to the soil borings in the plans and any unusual conditions are noted and reported to the engineer. Next, on to the grouting process. The superintendent foreman, the inspector and the crane operator gather in close proximity to facilitate communication. Strokes are counted and recorded. Pump pressure is monitored using a gauge on the hose. The five foot head of grout is completed first before raising the auger. Once the five foot head is established, the crane operator will raise the auger at a slow controlled rate. Stroke counts are continually monitored to assure the correct quantity of grout is pumped into each segment that is marked on the leads. Grout will eventually push out through the top of the excavation. This is known as grout return. It is important to document the grout return to ensure minimum head has been maintained. When the minimum stroke requirements are reached and clean grout is exiting the top of the pile, the crane operator moves the auger and an excavator is used to remove soil from near the hole. A second crane then positions the precast sound barrier wall post which is outfitted with reinforcing steel extending from the bottom. The post is placed within the template and lowered into the grout to the top of the collar elevation that is shown in the plans. The post must be placed within 30 minutes of completing the grouting operation. The template is then manually tightened around the post and adjusted to ensure that it is held plumb and in proper alignment and elevation. The template position is held for a minimum of 12 hours, after which the template can be removed and reused. During the grouting, a separate inspector samples and tests the grout at prescribed frequencies. The temperature of the grout is measured along with the flow rate. Specimens are then placed in canisters for later testing of compressive strength. For scheduling purposes, drilling to the needed depth typically requires 5 to 10 minutes depending on the depth and the soil conditions. The grouting work requires an additional 5 to 10 minutes. Depending on the experience of the crew and the template type used, the installation of the post requires up to 20 minutes. All told, it's typical for a contractor to install 5 to 20 auger cast piles and posts in a single workday.